Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm taking a look at the January 2021 Crate Club subscription box. Let's check it out. So if you guys aren't familiar with Crate Club, it's a tactical survival box built by Navy SEALs and Special Operations Forces Professionals, and it's shipped to your door every quarter. And there's three different tiers, a lieutenant box, a captain box, and the one that I have right here, the general box. And the box for January is just gigantic. You can see I can barely fit it on screen here. So as always, I'll probably put this big box off to the side and just reach in and grab whatever's on top. I'm just gonna put this off to the side here. And first off, I'll just take out the cheat sheet. And the first thing I'll grab is this black box, which is a Gerber. So I don't know what this is. Let's just take it right out. And it says right here, bolt carrier scraper. Um, I actually have no idea what this is. So right to the cheat sheet, it says a Gerber short stack AR-15 multi-tool. I don't have an AR-15, so this tool isn't much use to me, but right here I can see a Torx bit and a Phillips head bit. It says it can fit into Magpul Mo and Myad pistol grips compatible with Magpul M-Lock accessories, length 2.9 inches and weight 2.8 ounces. So those of you out there who have an AR-15, this might come in handy for you, but for someone like me, I just don't have a use for it. We can see right here in the cheat sheet just how it works right there. And I'm sure this is a great tool, but like I said, I just don't have a use for it. So I'm going to move right on to the next item in the box. All right, next <laughs> we have these two climbing carabiners. So where I work, I can always use more carabiners. These are Southern Survival two-pack screw gate locking carabiners, 25 kilonewton, approximately 5,500 pounds. Give you guys a nice look at the back here, show some of the features, but we take one of these out and let's check it out here. There we go. All right, so like I said, it is a screw gate here. And I love the coloring of this. I love this red on this gray. And it says right here on the cheat sheet, it's made of 7075 aluminum alloy. Breaking load marks are long axis, approximately 5,500 pounds of force. Short axis, approximately 1,750 pounds of force. Unlock is seven kilonewtons, approximately 1,500 pounds of force. So these are cool. I can definitely put these two carabiners to use. Let's put those off to the side. And now next, what do we have here? A Revolt Knife. Check this out. I don't own anything by Revolt Knives, but this one says it's designed by Daniel Dabs. Take this out of its box here. And it says it's the Revolt Knives Revenant. Very cool. We have its sheath. Let's pull it out. Oh, wow. It's a combo blade. You can see the serrations right there. At the handle, it's rubberized. So it's a pretty nice feeling grip on this. Let's grab the cheat sheet here, the Revolt Revenant. Uh, it's made of 440 stainless. It mentions that rubberized non-slip grip, uh, fixed blade, overall length seven inches, blade length 3.5 inches, and you can carry it vertical, horizontal, or neck carry. And you can see that on the sheath here, it's designed to carry vertical or scout. Or if you wanna put a chain through this, you can carry it around your neck for a nice neck knife, but this is definitely pretty cool. I'm not the biggest fan of 440C, but as a working steel, it works just fine. Let's see how sharp this is. Oh yeah, that bad boy is pretty sharp. Oh yeah. So I can definitely put this to use. I am a fan of Tonto blades, but not so much the 440C or the serrations here on the combo blade. But regardless, that's still a pretty cool item to pull out of this box because I don't have anything by Revolt Knives, so that's really cool. All right, next, what the heck is this? Modern Spartan System Starter Kit, right there. So what exactly is this? Spartan Accuracy Oil Carbon Destroyer, Copper Lead Destroyer, and Crystal Clear. So it looks like it's just a bunch of lubes and oils for your pistol or rifles. Yeah, it says right there, the best firearm chemistry on the planet. So right here, we have the copper lead destroyer. There's the crystal clear and Spartan accuracy oil and the carbon destroyer. Modern Spartan Systems Firearm Starter Kit. Everything you need to optimize firearm performance. The accuracy oil right here is firearm lubricant and protectant. The carbon destroyer here is pretty obvious. It's a carbon cleaner. The copper lead destroyer here, same thing, copper and lead cleaner. And then the crystal clear right here is a high definition lens cleaner and protectant. So this starter kit is pretty cool. If you guys like to keep your 
firearms lubed up and well oiled, you might wanna take a look at these right here. So inside the case here, there's a couple extra things. Right here's a spare pump. And then this right here is Spartan accuracy grease. So that's pretty cool. Let me put all of this away here and let's see what else we have. All right, next. So it looks like these might go together. So we have a Raptor Razor Fine Inch Mano and a Raptor Razor Mano Saw Blade. Well, these are just blades. Maybe there's something else I missed. All right, here we go. So it looks like all of this together is a kit. Now let's first off open this up and check this out. So it comes in a nice pouch with this awesome raptor claw on the front of it. So what the heck is this? So it looks like we have a handle here that screws on. It's a Phillips head at the end of it. Inside here, whoa, looks like we have three more blades. Check that out. It looks like the same side. Nope, that's actually a bit shorter than the five inch mano right there. All right, that's about it. Looks like we have some instructions here. Okay, pretty cool. Rapto Razor, big game skinner and mano. Yeah, it says right here, the mano is an ideal knife for high precision field dressing tasks, such as removing back straps, tenderloins, and quartering out the animal. So it's just a really fancy animal skinning kit. Bundle comes with three mano blades, one five inch blade, and one seven inch coarse tooth saw blade. Aluminum housing, non-slip knurling grip, strong and lightweight at 4.2 ounces, and T-handle for secure grip and reduced hand fatigue. So this would be our T handle. So let's get that in there. Let's check this out. Screws right on. And there we go. Now we have a pretty nice T handle and that feels nice. And then I'm guessing with these two Phillips head screws here, all we have to do is unscrew that, reveals our screwdriver, unscrew those, and then we can put on whatever blade we want. So Let's do that right now. All right, so there we go. I put the seven inch saw blade on there. The installation was super simple. And now we have a nice little saw blade with the T-handle. Pretty nice grip on this. In fact, I think I have the T-handle on backwards. I'm pretty sure I do. With this, I can see myself sawing through a branch pretty darn easy. So this is a really cool little kit. But regardless, this is a pretty nice little survival tool. Even if you guys aren't into hunting, this little saw blade could come in handy. There's no sheath when you have the seven inch saw blade on it, but looks like it comes with a nice little sheath if you have these smaller blades on. And now let's take a look at one of the blades that it comes with. This thing is razor sharp. And while I have it out, I might as well just show you guys the inside of the handle here so you can see everything just lines up perfectly and fits on those pegs as so. Close it right up. Everything just locks into place and all you have to do is just screw it in and you're ready to go. And this is what it looks like with one of the smaller blades on there. And right when I was screwing it together, I realized that I had the blade flipped around. So this is the correct orientation, just like this. And I might as well show you what it looks like inserted into the sheath here. And it looks like we have a couple stoppers right there that fit nicely into the screw holes. Like that, locks into place. Very nice. And then next, they look the same, but these are different. These are buckle loop around RMP strap black seat bottom and headrest. So these are just a few straps. So I'm guessing there's more here. Okay, rifle rack rubber clamps. Yeah, so it looks like these are all accessories for this bad boy right here. So this is the Grayman Tactical Vehicle Rifle Rack RMP. So this is a rigid molly panel that you stick on the back of your seat in your car. And it looks like we have the seat bottom and headrest straps right here. And then to mount your rifles to it, we have these rubber clamps right here. Give you a better idea right here in the cheat sheet. That's how you mount your rifle to it. That goes right around your headrest and you strap it around the bottom right there and it looks a little something like that. So this could be very useful, especially if you guys want quick access to your weapons or tools inside of your vehicle. Then it comes with this hardware to attach these clamps right to the back of the panel here. So this right here looks like it fits perfectly inside of here, which, yeah, absolutely. Let me see if I can show you guys right there. Fits right in. Take our clamp, 
and then we just screw it right together. And I'm sure you guys can buy more accessories because right here we have some mag holders right there. Then we have a holder right there for a fire extinguisher. So this is very cool. So just some of the specs here, it says the width is 12.25 inches. The height is 21 inches. The thickness is 0.188 inches, and it's made of high strength polyethylene, and it weighs about 16 and a half ounces. And I think this might be the last item in the crate. Let me just double check here. Oh, there's two other things in here. This is just an insert. And then what the heck is this? GTFO wrist strap plus AHK3. So it looks like this is a little wrist strap right here. Let me give you guys a nice close up and see what this looks like. Right here we have the AHK3, which is a advanced handcuff key. Oh, I see right here. This is a tungsten striker breaks tempered glass easy. So I am not familiar with this, but obviously it's some kind of glass breaking tool. It says to deploy, simply remove wrist strap, place around thumb and forefinger, pull back on the projectile and release. These wristbands give you the capability to break glass with minimal effort. Oh, I see how this works. So it said forefinger and thumb. So what you wanna do is just spread it like this, pull back this little tungsten glass breaker and oh, I don't wanna break anything here. So just like this, Pull back the glass breaker and let it go. And this, they say, breaks tempered glass without a problem. And if I get really close, you can see that AHK3 right here. It says it's coated stainless steel. And then I'll show you a close-up right here of this AHK3 compatibility of all the handcuffs you can unlock with it. So this is an interesting little wrist strap and I almost missed it. It was just tucked away in the corner of the box. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you guys think of the January 2021 Crate Club box? Now, if you guys wanna check out the Crate Club for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!